Yo, what's good, people? This your boy, Authentic973. This your boy, Pass 57 And for my first full house video, I was speculating on whether to bring you guys a Mutt video or a my team video. Now, with all the 2K commentators that's already on full house, I wanted to do something a little different. I didn't want to water y'all down with 2K. So I decided to bring y'all a special Mutt video. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions in Mutt is... How do you get your coins? How do you get coins? How do you make coins? How do you have so many coins? Now, you know, it's easy for y'all to go to another commentator and see they have 12,000 coins and ask them. But I figured I'd give you guys my formula, my format, my version of how I make coins. And then maybe y'all could take some of the things that I'm going to show you guys today and then, you know, spin off it and, and create your own. That, that works for you. But as you see, I'm over a million coins. So I just wanted to show y'all that I'm over a million coins. So what I do works for me. It might not work for you. I actually think it will work for everybody. Depending on depending on how bad or good your team is. As you see, my team is a 98 overall. We are a, nine, a, a legit 98. Meaning no duplicates in my roster at all. No duplicates on the bench. Now, I have five steps. I'm gonna call this a tutorial. I have five steps that I think will help you guys definitely make a good amount of coin. Now, step one, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and keep this video short, so we can't try and keep it around six, seven minutes. But step one for making coins in mud, an easy way, depending on if you just starting out and your team suck, or if you got a, a beast team. I want you guys to play the solo challenges, man. Play the solo, play the solo challenges to increase your balance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, as you see, your boy plays the solo challenges. That's what I do. Look at the postseason. Now, I want to just show you guys this. You see, I did all these postseason solo challenges, and I came to the realization that each one of these, like this Eagles one right here, you're gonna get about twenty thousand coins. So it's eight of these. So 8 times 20 is 160,000 coins you can make if you play all these. That's If you're just starting out and you play all these, you're going to get 160,000 coins. Come on, yo. That's great coinage for playing the computer. That's And, and I know a lot of y'all are going to be like, I don't want to play the computer. I don't want to do that. But this is an easy way to make coin without having to play the auction, without stressing yourself out. Play, play these. Look, you got preseason here, 32 games, 500 coins. You got regular season. It's 64 games here. You see, I played some because you need to play some of these games to complete collections. So I played some, but play these solo challenges, y'all. Play these games. They change the they change the team of the week and the weekly challenge every week. This this changes all the time. And look, 5,000 coins, 2,000 coins. Look. They change this every week. Play the solo challenges, y'all. That's 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 step number one. Play the solo challenges. As y'all see, I'm five and two right there. Step number two, do the collections. A lot of people have their own theory on have they look, I almost got Pat Pete. I told y'all I was working on them. A lot of people have their own theory about doing the collections. A lot of people don't like to do the collections. A lot of people say sell the cards. Don't do the collections, sell the cards. You know. As you see my Kaepernick. See, I, I do the collections, man. Do the collections. Uh, you know, a lot of these cards, a lot of these cards go for the high. But it is some it is some of these collections that if, if you, <clears throat> excuse me, if you buy packs, some of these collections you can get done. Some of, the, some of these players y'all might have on y'all reserves. Like these, um look, offensive playbook, defensive playbook, away, home uniforms, bronze stadiums, bronze coaches. Look at this. Some of these players y'all might just be sitting on in your reserves and don't, you know, you don't play them. Put them in the, do the collections. You know what I mean? This is what your boy do. This is what I do to get coins, y'all. Another thing. Um, I wanted to show you guys this right here. Look, look at the collections I completed. Some of these cards I almost got done. See, I'm still working on them. It's a slow process. But some of these cards, I get them and I sell them. Some of them I keep, like this AP, I definitely keep kept that AP. This AP. Where he at? Right here. I definitely kept that AP. 
But some of these cars I sold. Some of these cars I definitely moved. I moved a lot of these cars. And let me tell you something. Every car moves. Let me even show you guys these captain cars. These captain cars, they move. I moved these cars. So do the collections. That's step number two. Step number three. Check your reserves and know who's moving. Now we all know that Jason Jones and the um, Wooten and cars like that, they move. They, they would they are moving for the high. Like Jason Jones probably still going for about two hundred thousand. But at, I don't know if you guys know this, but at one point in time, the punter from the Steelers, Sweezum, was moving for like forty thousand coins. So I actually sold two Sweezums and got 80,000 coins from, from a Sweezum, a punter. No, I want to say he was a kicker. Sweezum is a kicker for the, for the Steelers. But he was moving. He was moving. I don't got him anymore. But he was moving for about 40,000 coins. And, you know, people need, I think people need that Sweezum for the Troy Palomalo collection. But, you know, check your reserves and know who's moving at the moment. Because, you know, you probably could get a Sweezum now for 1,000 coins. But just... Always be checking the auction. Always be checking your reserves. And that leads into step number four, which is play the auction block. A lot of y'all got silver cards on your... Um, I don't think I have any silvers. Because I do my little format. See, I don't have any silvers. But let me just go to my goals. I'm going to just use my goals as silvers. Like, a lot of people have silvers, like them 100 um, rookie cards. Sell them 4,000 coins. If you sell, if you sell 10... 10 silver cards for a thousand coins that's ten thousand coins you sell you could sell two, you could put 20 cards at a time on the auction block so if you sell 20 that's twenty thousand coins move them silver cards for a thousand unless you know they're going for the haha -ha, like a woo and unless you know they have some some value but cards like them top hundred sell them for a thousand coins don't just have them sit on sit in your reserve it's, it's taking up space and last but not least Step five, yo, make time and and be patient because what everything I'm telling you to do is going it, it works, but it's going to take some time and it's going to take some patience. Like I have cards on the auction block that I'm that I'm you know trying to move right now, and um, at one point in time, them these Laurinaitis, um, James Laurinaitis was moving for about 30, 40 grand, so. You know, it just takes some time. I did the collection for the Paul Puzz Lesney, and and uh, they sent that card back to me about ten times. But I kept putting them up there. I had patience. I kept putting them up there, and I ended up moving that MVP Paul Puzz Lesney for a hundred thousand coins. So step number five is make time and have patience. Go through your reserves. You know, always check the auction block. Do them collections. And you know, just have some patience. Your every card will move. Trust me, every card will move. You see, I got a million coins up there. Every card will move. So let's just go through it one more time. Step one, play the solo challenges. Step two, do the collection. Step three, check your reserves. Know who's moving at the moment. Step four, play the auction block. And step five, make time and have some patience. Um, if this video do well, I, I want to do this, you know, every time I upload on the full house, I'm, I'm going to be bringing you guys some Mutt gameplay as well. But I want to do this in, you know, for my next upload, the video I want to bring is I want to give you all the top five current players in the NFL that you can get for a good price. You know, not legendary players because I know they're going for the high, but I want to show, show you guys five players that are great players to have on your team that you can get for pretty cheap so i want you guys to comment like subscribe i want you guys to let me know what you think let me know what format you use you know what i mean maybe we could <laughs> come up with some some crazy type of new format that ain't nobody doing man but comment like subscribe i appreciate all y'all y'all know how in my shit bang